Hey everyone, we are carrying on from episode 4 part 2, uh, so that means this is episode 4 part 3, I uh, hope you're enjoying this video, uh, the walkthrough so far, and I hope you enjoy this video we got going on today, it's going to be only 10 minutes long, not too long, not too short, um, so we're just going to leave where we left off on episode 2, uh, not episode 2, episode 4 part 2, uh, and I hope you enjoy it, uh, we're just going to crack on going, cheers. As you can see, we've collected every uh, all the evidence from our previous uh, crime scene we've just been in part one and two, uh, and then we're just combining each and evidence uh, so we can come to a conclusion. I hope you are happy with it. Let's continue. Nate Levine and Patrick Swift were reporting directly to Captain Husker. Something they were involved with got them killed. Where are you going, Director Vance? What's going on in Dubai? You mean the World Financial Congress? You know what I mean, Leon. The event is a highly visible target with a lot of high-profile people. Echelon has picked up chatter that has led naval intelligence to believe it will be a target for a terrorist attack. But why Dubai? Why now? Like I told you, it has to do with the failed sting operation in Iran. You mean Captain Husker's operation? The failed sting operation in Iran has led us to Dubai though J.J. Husker was not involved. You're lying to me, Leon. Those SEALs had orders from Husker. All right, Gibbs. Husker went off the reservation. He was using the sting operation to try and extort extra money from the terrorists. It backfired. And not only did it get him killed, but the plutonium they were using as bait ended up in the wrong hands. What else do you know about J.J. Husker? J.J. stands for James Johnson. The name Husker was a cover, one given to him by the Navy when he began running black ops. Captain Johnson, related to Dustin Johnson, the guard killed in the Lucky Card Casino? Father and son. So their deaths are related. No doubt about it. Yeah. Gibbs, I've just made the most interesting discovery. There was something lodged under the fingernail of one of our dead seals, a wax or polymer of some kind. I've sent it up to Abby for testing. Thanks, Doc. I'll go see her. This is some sort of petrochemical, though an unusual one. It has a lot in common with other carbon-based substances normally used as a coating on fabrics to make them waterproof. What do you got, Abs? Gibbs, this is weird. I've never come across this particular chemical before. I mean, the concept is familiar, but the actual substance is new to me. Maybe McGee can come up with more information on it. Thanks, Abs. Dinozo. Hey, boss. I'm just about... Have you spoken to your father yet? Already at the prison. Just keep your head in the game. Don't let your father derail you. Understood.
What did you do this time, Dad? That's how you greet me, Junior? Yes, consider that my standard greeting when I'm bailing you out of jail. How many times now? Junior, when are you going to learn to stop living in the past? You need to enjoy today. What did you do? Nothing. I find that hard to believe. The Dubai police don't make a habit of just incarcerating American citizens without reason. Nothing, Junior. I was in town for less than 48 hours when they knocked on the door and arrested me. I didn't even have a chance to have my breakfast. Tragic. But if I'm gonna get you out of here, you're gonna have to give me some real details. What'd they tell you when you were arrested? They said I owe money. Apparently it's a crime to default on a debt in Dubai. How much do you owe? They said I owe $200 million. What? How did you manage to get into debt in just 48 hours? I told you, Junior, I'm innocent. I just came to town to attend the World Financial Congress. I attend every year, and while I was at the opening night gala, an old friend of mine introduced me to a man named Rashid al Mohammed. He was looking to bring on board an experienced CEO to help right the ship, so I sat down with him, had a scotch, and before the evening was over, I signed on with him for quite a hefty salary. That's it. All you did was get a job. Well, the position included a significant ownership stake in the company. I see. And the company owes the money. That's right. What's the name of this company? Gentech Dynamics. So let me get this straight. You now have a significant ownership stake in a company that turns out to be massively in debt. It, it appears that way, yes. And they won't let you out of prison until you pay that debt. That's what I'm told. Tell me again the name of the guy who gave you this job. His name is Rashid al Mohammed. Anything else you can tell me about this Rashid al Mohammed? Actually, Junior, yes. He had two very strange wounds on his arm. It looked as if he'd been bitten by something with fangs. <sighs> okay, Dad. Just sit tight, and I'll see what I can do to get you out of here. I know you will, Junior. McGee, can you help me do a background check on a Dubai company? Sure. What's the name? Gentech Dynamics. Gentech Dynamics? Hmm. That sounds familiar. I'll get back to you as soon as I know anything. Thanks, Proby. So it looks like we're coming to the end of this part. If you uh, like what you see and you want to continue with this walkthrough, I will leave a link down in the description box to episode 4, part 4. You can do that or you can go to my channel and check on my other videos you know, and see what uh, walkthroughs and collectible guides I do have. Uh, just an, uh, almost completed this game now, so we, all we got to do is uh, another 3 uh, parts left and we've done it we've almost completed the game and uh, it's been a it's been a pleasure making this video but I won't give that speech yet uh, I'll wait until uh, the end of the game before I do that so let me know what you think of this video and like comment and sub sub subscribe <laughs> cheers